Hello and welcome to our weekly devotion where we share this one thing from our revised common lectionary for Sunday, October the 27th. My name is Pam Maston. I'm one of the associate pastors here at First Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale and thank you so much for joining me today. Well, our psalm for this Sunday is a hymn of thanksgiving for deliverance. David is credited with these beautiful words from Psalm 34. And the reason behind his praise is that he sought the Lord and God answered his prayer. The Lord delivered his servant David from all his fears. Though David had been anointed as king of Israel, he was on the run from Saul, who had become jealous of David. And in his attempt to escape from the enemy, David fled right into the arms of the king of the Philistines, another deadly enemy. David became fearful of the king of the Philistines. So what did he do? David pretended to be insane in order to save his life, and he escaped from his enemy. It was not an easy time for David. It certainly was not a season where everything was going great. It was a hard and desperate season in his life. Yet, he could still say that God is good. David had trusted the Lord from his youth, and although he was not exempt from trials and tribulations, he knew the Lord and trusted that God would bring him through the storms of life, of which there were many. In Psalm 34, David is praising God for his wonderful deliverance from his enemies. And he also wanted others to learn that those who trust in the Lord will not be disappointed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. The words of verse 8 are familiar words. But what does it mean to taste and see the goodness of the Lord? The word translated as taste means to try something by experiencing it. Psalm 34 encourages us to experience God for ourselves and to open our eyes and see the goodness of God that is all around us. I once heard a story about thanking God for fleas. Yeah, you heard it right, fleas. Stick with me here. Corey Ten Boom actually wrote about it in a book called The Hiding Place. Corey and her sister Betsy were imprisoned at a German concentration camp for hiding Jews in Holland during World War II. In that context, Betsy praised God for his goodness, to which Corey responded, such as, Betsy said, such as being assigned here together. Yes, Lord, the goodness of God. The sisters were together. A huge blessing under the circumstances. Betsy continued, such as what you're holding in your hands. Corey had a Bible in her hands. Yes, the goodness of God. You see, there was no inspection in their room, so they were able to study the word and share it with others. Then Betsy continued praising God for the fleas. Well, Corey corrected Betsy, because her sister had gone too far. Thinking for the fleas? Really? But as weeks passed, Betsy came to understand the reason why the supervisor and guards did not ex- inspect the room they were in, and the reason was because of the fleas. The place was crawling with fleas. Betsy and her sister eventually praised God for the fleas, because that's how they were able to read and study the Bible and share it with fellow prisoners. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Even when faced with discouraging circumstances, we can identify numerous blessings that God continues to pour into our lives. Some of those blessings come in the midst of our trials and tribulations as David experienced and wanted to share with others. As we focus on the blessings in life, we will be strengthened and God will give us the courage to persevere through life's disappointments. Friends, this one thing for today 
is to taste and see that the Lord is good. Like Betsy and her sister, I encourage you to intentionally name three things in which you have experienced the goodness of God each day. Taste and see. Friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Stay healthy and we'll see you on Sunday.